Good day, students. Welcome to part two on our review on integration by parts and uh, substitution. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, question number one. We are to evaluate the following uh, definite indefinite integral. The integral of x roots x minus one dx. Okay. I'm going to evaluate this integral using two methods. The first method will be a combination of integration by parts and um, substitution. And the second method will just be uh, done using um, u substitution. All right, so method one. Method one is uh, longer. So method one is um, integration by parts, integration, by parts and substitution. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do this. I'm using integration by parts. So um, let's go write down what the formula is for integration by parts, just to refresh our memory. So the formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. All right, so if we take a look at this um, integral right here, we're going to call u x and dv is going to be the square root of x uh, minus 1 dx. Okay, so let's write, we write the integral. So we have the integral of x. Um, I can write root x minus 1 as a quantity x minus 1 raised to the 1 half dx. So I'm going to call this my u, and this piece would be my uh, dv. All right? Now, why did I call this dv and call this u? If you think about it, if we uh, differentiated this quantity right here, we'll have a much more complicated expression. And then we integrate this, this becomes um, x squared over 2. So if I um, focus on integrating this, which is very easy to integrate, I will end up with an expression that I can easily differentiate because this uh, u basically becomes 1 upon differentiation. All right, so this is the best order for selection here. Now, um, another thing to note, using like pets, these two are, are powers, but um, this has a higher power. So in most cases, the one with the fractional power should be the dv piece. OK, so we have u. Um, equals x and dv equals x minus 1 to the 1 half. Now, um, we have u and dv. Uh, in this formula, I need u, v, and du. All right, so u and du needs to be determined. So let's find what du is. I'll differentiate this side um, using differential. So du is simply going to be derivative of x, which is 1 dx. So there goes du. And to find v, I'll simply integrate both sides of this equation. If I integrate the v, I'll get uh, v. Imagine there's a 1 here. So just integrate that. And then I'll have to find the antiderivative of x minus 1 raised to the 1 half um, dx. OK? I was supposed to put a dx here before, because this entire piece is, dx, is dv. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and integrate that. Um, how do we integrate this expression? To integrate this, we can use u substitution. How do I know to use u substitution? Because if you differentiate the inner function of this um, composite function right here, you end up with a multiple of the other function, which is 1 dx, okay? So that's a telltale sign to use um, integration by substitution. So we're going to call u x minus 1. And then when we um, differentiate both sides, we have the u equals the derivative of x is just 1 dx. OK? Now we're still looking for v, so we can plug it into the um, integration by parts formula. Note we already have the u, so we just need to find v for this spot and this spot. OK, so now using u substitution to find v, we're going to have the integral of u to the 1 half replacing x minus 1 with the u value to the 1 half, dx now simply becomes du. 
is a perfect du because you do not have to multiply by any constant uh, to get uh, the dx replacement. All right, so what's the antiderivative of u to the one half? You use the power rule. Um, so you're gonna have u to the one half plus one. One half plus one is one half plus two over two, which is three over two. And then you put the same thing on the denominator, three over two as a power, all right? And now we're gonna multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. So we have two third u to the three over two, okay? So now what is V? V, we know that everything else is in terms of X, so we need to plug in the value of U right back in, into this expression, okay? So we're gonna have two third, instead of U is gonna be X minus one. Remember, earlier we called U X minus one, so we could integrate using substitution, so we have to plug it back. Two third times X minus one to the three over two. Now we have everything we need to use the integration by parts formula. So let's rewrite the integration by parts formula again. The integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. All right, so let's rewrite the problem. The original problem was the integral of x times the square root of x minus one dx is equal to uv u is x, v is this uh, term we got right here that we had to use substitution to find, which is 2 third x minus 1 to the 3 halves, minus the integral of v again, 2 third x minus 1 to the 3 halves, um, the u, the u is just simply dx, okay? All right, let's go ahead and simplify uh, this expression. So uv, we can um, write it as 2 third x times x minus 1 to the 3 halves minus this 2 third can be factored out. So we have 2 third um, times the integral of x minus 1 to the 3 halves dx. All right, now let's shift our attention to um, this the integral of v du piece that we have here. Now, how can we evaluate this integral? <clears throat> if you notice, we cannot evaluate this integral using um, u substitution again, because if we differentiate the inner function of this composite function, we have a, a multiple of the other function, which is one dx, all right? So to integrate this, we're just gonna call u the inner function of the composite function x minus one, if you differentiate that, the u is equal to dx, like we did before, all right? So um, let's put that in. So we're gonna still, uh, eval we're still evaluating this integral right here. So we have two third times x times x minus one to the three halves minus, and we'll write this as uh, two third times the integral of u instead of x minus one, call it u to the three over two dx because I'm sorry du okay du is equal to dx it's basically the same thing but we have to be consistent with our variables so this is du all right um, let's see so to evaluate this we're simply going to use a power rule so this is going to become minus two-third the antiderivative of u to the two-third um, is u to the you add one to that, that's the same thing as adding two over two, so it's five over two, divided by the value of the power, which is five over two, okay? Um, two third x times x minus one to the three halves. And then let's just simplify this a little bit more and then we'll, we'll be done, okay? So this becomes, let's see, um, two third, x times x minus one to the three halves minus, now we'll multiply two thirds by the reciprocal of five over two, which is um, two over five. So if you multiply that, you end up with four over 15. And then what is u? u is x minus one, right? So let's put that back, x minus one to the five halves, okay? 
uh, plus C. Now this is your final answer, but we could simplify it uh, a little bit more, make it look uh, pretty. So let's go ahead and simplify this. And I'm just gonna use some algebraic steps to uh, condense this expression, all right? So I can write this expression as um, 2 third x times x minus one to the three halves minus um, uh, 4 15, 4 over 15. And then I can break this up into x minus 1 to the 3 halves times x minus 1 to the 2 over 2, which is just 1. Okay, so to the 1 plus c. All right, so what I'm just using is the reverse of the product property of exponents. When you multiply exponents, you add the powers. So if I did the reverse, I just broke this up into its composite um, parts, 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2, 2 over 2 is 1, okay? The reason why I selected to extract 3 over 2 from 5 over 2 is because I wanted to have a match, an exponential match with this term right here, okay? So I can now factor out, let's see what's common, um, 2 and 2 are common in here, so I can take out a 2 and also a 3 from both terms. Um, and I can also take out x minus 1 to the 3 halves, okay? So the, in this term right here, all that um, will be left is just simply x, okay? Minus, if I factor out 2 thirds from this fraction right here, the numerator is divided by 2, so you're left with 2. The denominator is divided by 3, so you're left with 5. Um, and then I, this was common, right? x minus 1 to the 3 halves, we factored it out, so this is gone and you're left with x minus one, okay? That entire term plus c. So let's just combine these terms, these terms here and that, that should give us the final answer. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have two third times x minus one to the three halves times, now we can put this x over one, multiply both sides by five and five, top and bottom. So we have on um, the same LCD and then we can combine it with this term right here. And then I'm going to distribute this two fifth to these two terms over here, okay? So we're going to have 5x minus 2x, and then negative 2 times positive 1 is plus 2. And then that entire expression divided by the common denominator that they both share, which is 5, okay? So I'm going to 5 down here, plus c. And our final answer is going to be 2 third times x minus 1 to the 3 halves times 5x minus 2x is, uh, let's see, 3x plus 2 over 5 plus c, okay? Oh, yeah, we can also bring out this 1 fifth right here. Let's make it look nicer. So this is, we can rewrite this as 2 over 15 times x minus 1 to the 3 halves times 3x plus 2 plus c. All right, so that's your final answer. All right, let's take a look at method 2. We're going to do the same problem. Um, in method 2, we're just going to use um, u substitution only, okay? Unlike the other one where we use two different methods. This one we're going to use only use substitution. All right, so we're evaluating the same integral, which is um, the integral of x x minus 1 dx. All right, so with this one, I'm going to call my u uh, the square root of x minus 1. So that can enable me to substitute this with u. Now, how about this x piece? <clears throat> To get the x piece isolated, I have to isolate x here. So to do that, I'll square both sides first. u square equals x minus 1. And then add 1 to both sides. You can clearly see that u square plus 1 equals x. To get the dx piece, I'll simply differentiate both sides this equation implicitly. So if I differentiate this side, I'm going to have 2u du, derivative of 1 is 0 equals derivative of x is just 1 dx. Okay, so a nice substitution happening here. So I'm going to make use of 1, equation 1, um, equation 2, 
and equation three, so it expresses integral in terms of only u. All right, so this is gonna become the integral, the x piece becomes u squared plus one, and then the square root of x minus one piece becomes u, and then dx, don't forget the two is two u du, okay? Now we can factor out a two, take out two, and then um, distribute the u. So this u times this u together as u squared. And if I distribute it to this, I'll have u to the fourth plus u squared. Okay, so that du. So we can see how easy this is compared to the other method. Now what I'm gonna do is um, integrate this express, evaluate this integral using uh, the power rule. So this is now going to become um, two times, if you integrate this is the power is u to the fifth over five, plus integrating this with the power rule is u to the third over three, plus c, okay? Now let's um, uh, plug in back the value. But before we do that, I can factor out, if you notice I can factor out u to the third from these two terms, right? The small of the two exponents can be factored out. So we have two u to the third times u squared over five plus one over three plus c, okay? And then let's put that in, um, or let's, you know, we can combine these two fractions while we're at it. So we can multiply this by three, top and bottom and then multiply this by five. So we're gonna have two u to the third, do that again, two u to the third times three u squared plus five over 15 plus c, all right? And, um, we can write this, we can also factor out this 15. So we're gonna have two u to the third, well actually two over 15, u to the third times three u squared plus five. Okay, are we done? Absolutely not. Remember the original problem was in terms of x, right? So we're gonna make our substitutions here. Let's put in uh, the value of um, x back into the u. We know that x is equal to, I mean, u is equal to x minus one to the one half. So let's go ahead and put that back in here. So on the on this term on the outside, we have two over 15 brackets. U is the square root of x minus one, which is the same thing as x minus one raised to the one half. So we raise that to the third power times three. Remember what u square is? U square is x minus one, right? Or um, the square of the square root of x minus one, so the square and square root cancels out, so u squared is simply x minus one plus five plus c, all right? Let's see, let's simplify this. Uh, one more step using an elementary algebra here. So two over 15, um, now this is, we can write this as three over one. So using the um, power of power property of exponents, you just simply multiply the powers, x minus one to the three over two. And then here distribute the three to the x and the one. So you have three x minus three plus five. So that yields three x minus three plus five is plus two plus c. And there goes your final answer. So this is just another method um, evaluating the integral using um, u substitution only, as opposed to the other one where we use um, u substitution and integration by parts uh, simultaneously, okay? So there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and please post a comment to let me know what you think about this clip. More clips can be found on myclipsev.com slash calculus. Thanks again for watching.